register patterns in mathematics subsection 1.4 relations among number sequences sometimes number sequences can be related to each other in surprising way for example as we have seen the previously odd numbers there is a sequence how there is a previous numbers a sequence 1 3 5 like that what happens when we start a numbers adding up odd numbers for example what are the odd numbers 1 3 5 7 what if we add 1 to 1 1 only the 1 next 1 plus next number will be 3 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 is 4 next number is 5 1 3 plus 5 9 if we observe this one can you think any pattern here 1 3 5 7 16 1 can be written as this 1 square similarly 2 can be written 4 can be written as this 2 square 9 can be written as this 3 square and 16 can be written as 4 square and next 24 can be written as 5 square 36 can be written as 6 square so these are adding of this first 6 odd numbers gives to 36 so 6 to 6 square next 5 adding up the 5 odd numbers gives to 24 nothing but 5 square in examination if they'll ask addition of 10 odd numbers obviously it will be 100 because 10 square see here so it is rep representation of this number sequence we can do here 1 is 1 1 plus 3 3 is odd number 1 plus 3 this is 3 number so 1 plus 3 if we have represented this representative form the diagrammatic form it is in the form of square similarly next one is 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 3 5 upon adding a 1 3 plus 5 it gives 9 so this is in the form of 3 by 3 cube next one will be 5 by 4 by 4 cube let us see an example another example of such relation of the sequence adding up and down when we are writing the 1 1 1 plus 2 next come to descending order 1 2 this is ascending order next come the descending order 1 plus 2 plus 1 this also is plus 2 square next 1 2 3 plus 2 plus 1 this is also 9 nothing but 3 square 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 gives us to 16. So, we have to consider this middle number, the highest number. So, sum of those numbers leads to the square of the middle number. So, if this exam, if we will get this 1 plus 2 plus dash dash plus 10. Similarly, plus plus 1 in the descending order, then answer will be 10 square, nothing but 100. So, this pattern representation is like this 1, 2, 1. So, if we add like this, this is in the form of square. Next, if we consider this is a middle one, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Again, this is 9. This is a third sequence. Let us see exercise 1.4. First question Can you find a similar pictorial explanation for adding up counting of numbers? up and down 1 1 plus 2 plus 1 1 plus 2 plus 3 here let us see how we can represent it up here counting of the numbers 1 2 3 this is this given sequence and gives us square numbers so what are the square numbers 1 4 9 so if we count it up 1 2 it is upside and the downside is 2 plus 1 so 1 plus 2 plus 1 is First one, first number is only 1, 1 square. Next, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, nothing but 2 square. So, we can consider this square of 2, nothing but 4. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, then in this descending order, 3, 2, 1, this is nothing but 3 square, 9. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 16, nothing but 4 square. Pictorial representation is as below. See, 1 can be written as only 1. Next, 4. 4 can be written as this 2 square. So, we are representing in this form. Next, 9 can be represented as this 3 square form. 
and this middle one is this highest number is this middle number is this one next similarly 16 can be represented as 4 square and 1 this is a 1 this is 2 this is 3 1 2 3 this number is 4 next again this sequence is 3 this is 2 this is 1 which is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 16 nothing but square of 4 so thus counting of numbers up and down that is 1 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 gives square numbers let us see next problem by imagining a large version of your picture or drawing it partial aggregate can you see the value of 1 plus yes see it as seen in the previous problem this is the sum of the numbers of the natural numbers ascending till nth number then descending from nth number to the 1 so as shown in this one this is the way of the diagram this is as in that like the one like this it will be 100 numbers will be there then the hundredth number the diagonal will be like this similarly your 100 rows and 100 columns so the sum of this this number will be obviously 100 square nothing but 10,000 this is this because as we can't write with the hundred numbers that's why examiner is asked us is write partially okay so this is a partial way of representation the value is 10,000 summary visualizing number sequences using pictures it will help us to understand the sequences and the relationship to them thank you let us meet in this next class